Philadelphia police have just released this photo of the dangerous driver wanted for causing injuries to an officer last night. The officer was dragged for half a block by a driver in a gray Tesla. Tonight, the car has been found, but the suspected driver remains at large. Tuesday night in the big story on Action News is a search for that driver who may be armed and desperate. And authorities are urging him to surrender. Action News reporter Bob Brooks is live at Northeast Detectives with the very latest. And Bob, police definitely know who they are looking for, huh? Yeah, Rick, you said it. Uh, it really shouldn't be hard to find this suspect tonight. We learned who he is. He's 20 years old. His name, Eddie Brito Almonte. Police, they have his car. They have all of his information. So detectives are hopeful that he sees this all going on and decides to make the right choice. Turn himself in. He's 20 year old Eddie Brito Almonte of the 4500 block of D Street, and he's wanted by the Philadelphia police. Detectives say he's the man who dragged a Philadelphia police highway patrol officer with his car last night. Now the manhunt for him is on. The person we're talking about knows who he is, so better for him just to come in and see us. This is believed to be Brito Almonte caught on security video roughly 30 minutes after the incident. You see him parking the car along the 2400 block of North 7th Street in North Philadelphia, then calmly walking away. His Tesla is now at the police impound lot. Police say it was 930 last night to the 5400 block of Charles Street near Cheltenham Avenue when the officer became stuck in the Tesla after a traffic stop gone horribly wrong. Detectives say he had pulled over Brito Almonte and was conducting a vehicle investigation for traffic violations. Well, police say the officer saw a handgun on the floorboard of the Tesla. Next, the officer reached in to grab the gun, and that's when we're told Brito Almonte suddenly reversed, dragging the officer several hundred feet. Again, authorities say there's no point for the 20 year old to continue to stay at large. The operator had given over his uh, identifying information for the vehicle and for himself that was left behind at the scene. Okay, Rick, and I have a good update for the highway patrol officer. He was re uh, treated and released already from the hospital. As for that suspect, Brito Almonte, police say he did not have a license to carry a firearm. However, they're confident he will be in custody very soon. So you're putting live outside Northeast Detectives, Bob Roach, Channel 6, Action News, Rick. All right, Bob, thank you.